a Florida hospital has fired a modern woman because of uh, OF content. The question shouldn't be, would I date a regular guy? The question should be, would a regular guy date me? Where are the men with the money that you speak of? Where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but those men, they've already woken up and they've left. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Gets It Out. Let's get right to it. Now today, I have a woman who was fired for being an OnlyFans model. I guess the job found out. But anyway, let me hop right into it. Stop filming me. A Florida hospital has fired a modern woman because of uh, OF content. I spent a lot of time talking to my subscribers, and I just found out that one of my top, top fans is having a birthday very soon. I was going to mail it to him, but I think I'm going to deliver it myself. He lives extra, extra close, so let's see what we can find. He's going to love it. I'm kind of nervous. So we are finally here. Go inside. Let's go get him his gift. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for Jose. Jose oh, here. Inside. Yeah, can you go get him for me? Okay. Hey. Oh my God. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm here to bring you your gift. For now, a young kid, right? He's getting that gift. I don't want this. Let me see something. Being what? an awesome Are you fan. serious? Yes, this is this for is you. So those are some of the videos that she does on TikTok and Instagram to promote her OF account. The question shouldn't be, would I date a regular guy? The question should be, would a regular guy date me? And the answer is probably no. Most regular men with regular jobs are not going to date me because, well, for starters, my body type is a little bit more niche and I'm an S worker. So majority of men don't want to. Even I value men are not going to date you. It's not just uh, normal guys. Even I value men are not going to date you. I date women with my job that show everything to thousands of men online. And I'm well aware of that. Does it suck? Absolutely. But this was my decision. And I really couldn't be happier with my choice. And I really do love my life and the people that I have in it. And I know that that's just one of those hazards of the job now i doubt that she loves it she doesn't love what's going on she loves the money as long as they got that money coming in you know what they're singing it's all about the money money ching 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 it's all about the bang 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 i would love to date a regular guy i just know that that's gonna be a bit challenging this is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy did you know that single women own 2.71 million more homes in america than single men that's crazy. And all credit to those women. But now we have a dilemma. Do we say that they've overcome the apparent wage gap and the patriarchal system? Or do we mention something else? What do we do? Do we praise them for their hard work? Or the divorce rate? What do we do, feminists? Someone please tell me. I'm curious. <laughs> I just have a quick question for everyone. How am I expected to lose weight? When I'm not used to losing. I still really am waiting for God, the universe, to send me a man to spoil. I'm trying to keep a list of my notes up of future gifts for you and add to it every time you mention you want or need something. I'm trying to make love to you while looking at this view. Well, not maybe up against this view. <laughs> I'm trying to use my nails to give you little back tracers every time your shirt's off around me. I'm trying to change your ringtone and text tone to something specific so I always know it's you and I never miss your calls. I'm trying to buy us both our dream cars and then go on little drives together. I'm trying to sleep skin to skin and fall asleep listening to your heartbeat. It may be synchronized heartbeats. I'm trying to hear all your great ideas that just need financial backing, invest in them, and then sit back and watch. Sounds like a crock of nonsense, but you know what? 
I can't doubt her because she is probably an OnlyFans model. Right? Of course she has all this money to invest. She probably making good money in OnlyFans. So all of a sudden, she wants to take care of a guy now. Figures. She's going to do that so you can stay with her. You just do something you love and build an empire together. I'm trying to give you unsolicited massages. Trying to make a list of all the restaurants you mentioned wanting to try and then pulling it up whenever we're like, hmm, what should we kind of plan our dates sometimes? That doesn't always have to be your job. Let me let me take the load off. Gotta be your best friend. And I still really want to get you flowers. I know nobody gets you flowers. I'm gonna get some flowers. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know that there was uh, this much impact on women. Sometimes it's hard for them to focus and uh, think properly. I mean, this war is so much defeated. <laughs> Set the standard high, especially since you're a mom, because it's not just about you anymore. It's about you and your kids. I'd be finding a man that will meet those standards when you have kids. Good luck to that. And I can assure you one thing. When I see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high. But wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman period would want the best for her children and want the best around her children? So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high. I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. Yeah, and guys will say, take your standards and exit. Oh, this is your house? Okay, I'll leave. Guys aren't going for that. Elf. If you had those standards, you don't have those kids. But you have those kids because you didn't have those standards. So where are the standards coming from? So now you want to create them because you have kids. Good luck to find all those guys that will meet those standards. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Where are the men with the money that you speak of? Uh, you got rid of them, remember? You, you said it wasn't fair that men made more money, and so you insisted on an equal pay, and you asked for uh, jobs and school and money to be distributed um, towards you, and so the men who had money now make not as much as you. You know, just like you wanted. That's what you wanted, right? You might notice I use the same drawings every time because it's the same thing every time that men used to make more and then you wanted uh, equality, but men still have to pay. So now they have less money than you. And it's not because you're doing better. It's because you ask to be given for free. Here, let me show you. We don't need empowering quotes. We need promotions. There, you see that? It says the future is female promotions. Now, maybe you could check my math on this, but if the future is female promotions, then that would mean not male promotions. And promotions are where you get money. So then the future would be female money. Not like this, more like this, or even farther. So then the men with money would become the men without money because you have it. Yeah, they are taking it through divorces and they are taking out through uh, uh, the princess treatment. Like most guys that are doing it, like maybe the girl, she's not even your girlfriend, but you're giving a princess treatment. So they are getting money from uh, guys through that and especially divorces. I mean, how many people have gotten so much money? And uh, also they are using children to get money from men. Uh, the child support you find that she's not even taking care of the child you're the one taking care of the child you're giving the child everything but you still have to pay her for child support not one point benzo speaks fast as hell <laughs> but yeah no he's right you know it's just a never-ending cycle and women will definitely keep the cycle going right where did all the good men go yeah you got rid of them and that whole map breaks it down perfect i love the way it breaks it down it's my life have i ever met a man that made as much money as i did or more you sound upset we are also upset as a matter of fact in my 40s they have turned into the most pathetic group at a level of high school early 20 struggle love yes that's exactly what happened to me in school girls got bonuses and i did not and when I looked for work, girls got bonuses and I did not. And then in the dating world, girls got bonuses and I did not. So I ended up with not very much. I was, I'm was i about to be 40 and this was going to be me if it wasn't for YouTube. And it's not because I didn't do these things. It's because when I did them, they told me, sorry, get at the end of the line. And then I stayed at the end of the line forever. And so did all of us, which makes you confused for some reason, because you got what you wanted. And they think 
that established women with financial stability are going to date them. See, there's where you're wrong. I'm going to let you guess what this represents. It's not our income. And that's what happens when you say that this isn't fair. And then you use this to make this happen. And then you say that you're too good for everyone. Too bad for you. Where are the men with money? You them. Where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but those men, they've already woken up and they've left. Because you see, men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you. We've seen that while you demand, demand, demand things from us, you offer little to nothing in return. At least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you. And on top of that, for decades now, y'all told us you didn't want us. Y'all told us you didn't need us. I mean it. So they only need you for a few years, maybe five years, have one or two kids with you, and let her own take half of what you owe or what you worked for. That's going to happen. So they don't need you. They only need your resources. Without those resources... We don't be talking about relationships. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, man. This is a long road for men. How do you survive that? You saw whole math said he started doing extra things. He started doing YouTube, right? Men usually have to stack income to make to make sense out of it, right? It's not just from a job. With a job, you're never gonna make it. I've learned that over time. I have to stack my income. So I'll be doing one thing. And then I'll be doing another thing. And then I'll be doing an another something else. And I make it so I can have all of those all existing by hiring others, right? The only way you're going to make it free is to have other people doing tasks for you. So that way you can do more and make more money. All right, guys. Thanks. That's all, that's all for the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Peace out. You give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. I'm